What's going on, Colts Nation? I appreciate you joining me for another video. We're talking about the Colts having their first round draft pick. I'm sitting here waiting for the pick. And as soon as this pick happens, I'll be right back to celebrate and talk about how great it is for the Colts. Our selection right now is really good. And as I sit here at the moment, the pick is in, just waiting to hear who the Colts are going to get. Dallas Turner still on the board. It could be him. It could be Terry on Arnold or Kenyon Mitchell. Okay, there are good players on the board right now. Seemingly going to be defense. Colts might end up being at pick 15, the first defensive pick in this draft so far. And right now, again, the pick is in. And the Colts have drafted defensive end, not Dallas Turner, but Leitu. They drafted Leitu out of UCLA, a guy who has an injury history, who just a couple seasons ago was medically retired from the game and has come back. He, he's battled through different injuries in, in his career, and he's the first defensive end off the board, the first defensive player off the board. We've talked so much about the Colts needing to get cornerbacks, right? Or at least that's been the conversation on this channel. I've talked about Dallas Flowers, Juju Brantz, and Jalen Jones being guys that I'm comfortable with being our three guys uh, there on the outside. And then, of course, Kenny Moore in the slot. We needed defensive end. I didn't know if we'd get it here in the, in the first uh, part of the or here in the first round. But the Colts with with Dallas Turner still on the board, I thought for sure when if Dallas Turner made it to 15, the way the board was falling, six quarterbacks happened. I thought, hey, maybe Dallas Turner does make it to 15. I thought he'd honestly be the pick. I thought he was going to be it. Ends up being Leitu, Leitu uh, from UCLA. A lot of people over these last couple of weeks have talked about possibly the best defensive pass rusher in this draft. He just has the medical history questions. But if he's getting selected this high, then I assume that the Colts are comfortable with the medical side of things with lay too. So this is a huge pick. The last edge rusher that was picked in the first round by the Colts was a few years ago. Quiddy pay got selected in the first round uh, near the end of the first round. And this time lay to the first defensive player off the board in 2024 happens at pick 15 for the Colts. And this is going to be a massive pick for Chris Ballard and this regime going forward. We need, uh, we need more edge rusher help. We, we knew we needed edge rusher help. This is somebody that coming in, he's going to have to get used to the NFL game, but he's 6'5", 265. He, he's a freak of nature out there on the defensive end. So glad to have him. Hope he can stay healthy for us. That's really the thing that's going to worry me through, through the beginning of his NFL career and seeing what happens with him is, is there going to be more injury history that's going to pop up? And then the injuries are a worrisome thing. So you know, hopefully he can stay healthy. But if he does, he should be a game changer for us as we continue to go forward in the air, Anthony Richardson era. So you let me know what you think about this. I'm really excited about it. Um, it's not what I thought was going to happen. But as the board kept falling, um, it was clear we were going to go defense. It was going to be either Dallas Turner or Leitu or Kenyon Mitchell or Terion Arnold. Those were the guys that we had to choose from at 15. We ended up taking Leitu, and now he's going to be a Colt first-round pick for the Colts in 2024. Again, let me know what you think of it down in the comment section. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe with notifications on. We're going to have more talk about the draft tomorrow. Uh, I have worked my day job all day, so uh, I'll try to get videos to you guys. After that's over, it might be a little late. Uh, we'll see what happens there. If not, then I'll give videos to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, but we're going to continue talking about the draft and continue talking about and looking deeper into the players that the Colts are drafting. So make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you get notified when any of those videos come out. Of course, I appreciate you joining me for another video. As always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and go Colts.